Hey everybody, it's Dan, your host here at Dan's Reviews, back for another Walking Dead video. This one is going to be a breakdown video. This one is going to be giving my thoughts on what episode 6 of season 8 should contain. Now, uh, this is an early prediction, so obviously it's not really a predictions per se. Obviously, that video will be posted on Monday um, once we see the actual promo and everything like that, but... Um, what I did was, I took every scene that we have not seen from the Walking Dead uh, Comic-Con trailer, and I put it into here, and we're going to make our predictions based off of these scenes that we have not seen yet. Now, um, this will not be including the scenes uh, that we know we're going to see from Episode 5, which uh, a couple examples of that is Negan smashing the bat on the table, uh, him and Gabriel, kind of the uh, you know the aftermath of that, Rick and Daryl, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Because we already know we're going to see that. But this is everything that is going to definitely happen in Episode 6, because... Every year in the Walking Dead Comic Con trailers, at least for the last, you know, several years, um, the scenes from the trailer have been from the first six episodes. They've never shown scenes from episode seven. Never. Uh, it's, it's never happened, and I'm pretty sure it's not the same this year either. So, now we're gonna go into what should episode six be about. So, Episode 6 is going to switch around a lot, uh, a lot, like a lot, a lot, because in Episode 6, we're going to see so many different groups, it's insane. So, the first uh, first uh, group we're going to see is uh, Michonne and Rosita. They are sick and tired of being at home, they are sick and tired of, you know, just kind of sitting around. So, what they decide to do, they want to go out and fight the saviors themselves, it looks like. Uh, they're driving a car. They go to some outpost, it looks like, from the saviors. Uh, you have Rosita here. It looks like she's worried about something. And uh, they're in the middle of an attack. Uh, and it looks like right here, you know, there's some people that are clearly in this building. Uh, Michonne firing off a gun. Uh, and it looks like this is another savior outpost. So this will be a cool attack. I am really excited to see this in the TV series. Um in the episode, and it looks like, you know, you have Michonne here opening up a door, uh, it looks like there's gonna be some people in here, uh, and I'm very excited, there's even a part right here with Michonne versus this girl in a sword fight, so all of this stuff looks absolutely amazing, so that's one group that we'll see in episode 6, which I'm very excited, uh, you know, to see now, I don't think we're gonna see anything crazy like Rosita or Michonne get killed off or anything, but it's gonna be a cool battle, it looks like, they could take out most of the saviors in this outpost, uh, I'm assuming it's no post because it looks like uh you know this is maybe where they store their extra stuff or something like that so it's kind of hard to tell but then we're gonna see Aaron now looks like somebody's looking out of binoculars here uh so um I'm not really sure if this is the junkyard group and if that's if that's what they're they're watching Aaron and they're kind of keeping their eye on Rick and the others and what they're up to um you know so this it looks like he's on his way to the hilltop to take Gracie to uh, Maggie and the others at the hilltop. Looks like he's um, going to be at the at the hilltop for at least a little bit. Uh, and then this is also from episode 6, of course. Uh, it looks like this is when the prisoners are there and Maggie and the others are not really pleased of seeing them. We saw this in the trailer, too. Um, and then we see, of course, uh, this guy here, which, I mean, nobody can stand, Jared. And he looks like he's kind of... You know, laughing at some, maybe, you know, and also, it looks like he's not tied up anymore. Somebody let him loose. Um, you know, he's not tied up anymore, clearly. Um, and also, this little image right here on the side, this is another part from the trailer where we saw somebody's uh, hands tied up. Well, that's clearly the same shirt, um, so that's obviously uh, Jared. So... Yeah, um, definitely want him to die really soon. So uh, then we have Aaron and Ina, and she says, uh, we need to win. Let me come with you. So uh, this one I actually really like because it seems like what's going on is this is probably going to be a part of the episode where they're going to realize, like, the saviors are not going to be inside the sanctuary forever, and they are actually going to escape, and they need to go to Alexandria, because once the saviors get out of there, they're going to head towards Alexandria, and they, they're going to need some backup, you know, they're going to need some people, so I actually think that this is a setup for the mid-season finale here, I like this, um, 
Yeah, so she's saying, you know, we need to win, let me come with you. So um, we have Jesus, uh, so he's here, uh, and, you know, captured saviors in the background, he's not really happy. Um, and we have Maggie, who's also really not happy about the captured saviors. Then you have Rick right here. So this one really threw me off at first. I wasn't really sure what this is. Um, but after, uh, you know, watching the trailer this summer, after a couple times of me watching it, I started to realize that this is actually Rick looking up probably at Jadis. This is probably when he gets captured, I'm going to guess. So we see that in the promo, Daryl leaves Rick, but he goes off on his own doing something. I'm, you know, we're not really sure. Uh, and we're not really sure why they're leaving each other. But, you know, it looks like in this one, um, Rick is on his own and he gets captured by Jadis in the junk care group. And it looks like, of course, he's naked in a storage box container. Now, oh my god, seriously. Like, th this is so highly discussed, uh, you know, about uh, this, th you know, at least... This is one of the biggest things for the trailer that people were talking about. Aside from the Rick old man Rick scene, you know, this was the second most uh, discussed topic. So this is going to be cool because it looks like in this episode, episode six, um, could actually even be episode five, depending on. But I I don't think so. I think this will probably be episode six, to be honest, because um, I think they'll probably use it as a cliffhanger at the end of episode five of Rick being captured, and then episode six we'll see him naked in a box car. I think that's where they're going with this. Um, it could be different, but that's just my prediction. Um, so. Yeah, he's naked in a boxcar. Obviously, Jadis uh, kind of likes him, as we see in the Season 7 finale. Um, and she's obviously not on their side anymore. So, um, would you imagine if Frick said, you know, we can make a better deal. And they make some kind of deal. And then, you know, they fight versus the Saviors. And the fans are wondering, like, oh my god, why are they with them now? You know, like, why is Rick giving them a chance? And then at the end of the war, Rick just shoots Jadis. Which I think that would kind of be cool, to be honest. Because the fans would wonder, why is he doing that? And then, you know, at the last minute, Rick and the others just turn the guns against them and start firing, just like they did, except they're going to start firing and they're going to start killing them. I think that would be really cool. That'd be some nice revenge right there. So, um, I would really like that, to be honest. That would be awesome. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, in this episode, man, I really, I just totally think that Rick will probably be used as leverage against Rick's group. Um, but I don't think it'll last. I think some someone will save Rick, or he'll even get out of there himself. We'll have to see. Looks like people... I can't tell who is trying to get Rick back, but it looks like Jadis is kind of like, you know, talking to someone. So we'll have to see what... Yeah, we'll have to see what's going on there. I don't really have many predictions when it comes to that. So... It also looks like we'll probably have a quick kingdom scene with Carol, uh, so we'll probably stop in for a couple minutes with them, kind of catch up with them, maybe for a few minutes. Uh, we'll have the cover your ears part, which, oh man, I love it. This either could be from episode 6, or we actually don't see the kingdom at all, and this is actually a deleted scene from episode 4. That, that could make sense too. Um, but no, most likely from episode 6. So we have Sadiq. Uh, this is a sneak peek we saw that was leaked. Uh, if you guys have saw have seen this uh, at Comic-Con and everything. Um, we have Carl, who's in the woods and everything. So it looks like they get into a, a little uh, trouble because there's some walkers here. And uh, look, you know, Carl's down on the ground here. Uh, and you have Sadiq, who's also dealing with one. So, you know, this is kind of all up in the air. But that's, uh, yeah, that's that's about it for the remaining scenes. Aside from that, we've seen everything. But, you know, I'm very excited for Episode 5. And definitely, you know, Episode 6 is going to have a lot, you know, based off of what I'm seeing here. So, you know, definitely. Episode 6, guys. You know, Episode 5 looks great, and Episode 6 could even be better. You know, like, yeah, this season, love it, man. Just love Season 8 so far, man. 8 you know, season eight of The Walking Dead. I can't wait, you know, until this half is over so I can just marathon all these episodes and also rank them. And I probably will do a video ranking all the episodes from best to worst. So, um, yeah, uh, look forward to that. But, um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, please, uh, give it a like. And also, I have another video. I don't know if I'll post it later, but I might have the time to post another video later. Uh, and it has to do with, it's either going to be today or tomorrow. It's including my, uh, I'm doing a updo uh, updated, sorry, uh, updated room tour. So, uh, yeah, all my Walking Dead stuff and all that, guys, uh, you know, for the, for the new people that haven't, uh, followed my channel since, you know, the beginning. 
beginning, uh, you will see some of that. And I got a new shelf there a couple months back too, and I haven't done a collection video in a long time. So I am going to show off some of the new stuff I've gotten in my room for the Walking Dead stuff. So uh, that'll be coming up really soon. But anyway guys, make sure to write all your comments below. What is the most uh, exciting thing that you see from these uh, clips? What are you most excited for out of these clips? Me, it's the Rick Captured thing, to be honest. But I'm also excited to see Michonne and Rosita, too. So, anyway, guys, uh, I will see you guys for that video. Uh, and, uh, yeah, guys, I will catch you guys later.